Hey guys, it's Fallen Dice, and welcome to yet another adventure of Minecraft Adventures of Fallen Dice. <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather today, but I'm still gonna go ahead and make uh, make more for you guys to watch. Not a lot of subscribers yet, but I I hold I hope that somewhere down the road I'll get a few more. So just a couple changes here. Um, <clears throat> uh, kind of wondering why this is sticking out a little bit further. Uh, I have plans of putting in kind of like a uh, multi-level staircase here so that's what the plan is and I might even put in like a hidden wall here to kind of make this invisible you know with the exception of a button a couple of cool little projects I have um, <clears throat> I also finally got my railway system put in so it's a lot quicker to get down to my mines now not that super long right away just walk down I've also been doing, you know, a bit of mining. And then in addition, over here at the slime pit, I decided to make like a, uh, a viewing area. You know, that way I can kind of, you know, go through, peek, and see if it's uh, you know, doing all right. Uh, I also put in a, a portal to the nether. Um, I, I needed some, some nether rock so I could light up an area outside. I'll show you guys that. But, so now I got this, you know, view and area that goes all the way around <clears throat> and then that goes to the of course to the nether and this will actually take me up so I can access my uh, my path to uh, sorry my path that my slimes take so, yeah. got something I'm planning on doing here so I'm already loaded up for it so let's see get back in there head back over here <coughs> And then we'll head outside and I'll show you what the uh, plan is. Um, it's more of a food thing today. Um, mm. I'm going to be doing a... Uh, call it an artistic automatic farm. Um, I mean, everyone's done wheat farms and, you know, that's... Nothing new. But uh, I'm, I'm, my, my plan is to take and turn an entire mountainside into my wheat farm. So I'm gonna take a quick quick nap here. Alright, I'll head back over here. So that right there is going to be my wheat farm. Um three three sides to it so that'll kinda of be coming together at the corners, which is kind of what my artistic part of it is. It's you know I like the way that you know the stuff looks like when it comes in at the angle. So this is the basis of what it's going to be. It does a, an offsetting two, one, two. So each of these two is going to be a platform for the wheat, and then where this one is, that'll be replaced with like uh, either smooth stone or not smooth stone. Um, the new smooth, the, the new brick or um, wood. I might go with wood, but anyway, this top one here, <coughs> all the way on the four, uh, three sides is going to be a piston and behind it's going to be water so when I'm all done and from the bottom I hit a switch drops these water comes down and it basically sends all the wheat all the way to the bottom and there'll be a a, uh, a stream already coming through to direct it to one single spot so I can just kind of stand there and collect it all um, it's not an automatic as in I'm still going to have to go up and plant everything but I figure you know if you're going to plant you might as well make it big you know go big or go home so when it comes time to harvesting, I'm going to get a crap ton of wheat. And it'll take me a while to replant it all, but I'm only going to have to do it every now and then. You know, I'm not going to have to do it over and over and over, small bits here, small bits there. It's going to be one just giant. And then the best part is, is you know, when it's planted, you know, and it's all grown, it's just, it's, it'll look really good. I, I like the way wheat looks, and this is, it's going to look really cool. So, um, this is showing how it's going to look like from, from this side. I kind of started staking it out. I also did a ton of terraforming over here. This was like a big hill that was blocking the path, blocking my view, flattening some things out. Um, that's where I took the uh, nether rock that I did so I could light up under there because I, I went over by there and there was probably 15 to 20 mobs just camping out over there. It was just, <laughs> it was mob central and I don't like it being that close to me where I'm going to start working eventually. So, And then of course the other one comes down there. It'll go straight across over there, straight across there, and then over here and then move some pathway down the middle, but um, 
that is my next project though I'm gonna have to fill in all of these areas so that's why this is here I'm gonna do a lot of brick on the bottom area or cobble on the bottom areas where I don't need it to look pretty and then I'll put the uh, dirt on the top so I'm going to go ahead and cut here while I go ahead and finish out my top I think I'll probably do a lot of work from the bottom so I'm gonna have to cut out a bit more into this mountain here we'll see how it looks but anyway that is the plan um, I guess I'll go ahead and get started, and then I'll show you how it's coming. Um, when I go and start doing more of my piston work, uh, I'll do a lot more recording. I just I don't think people really want to sit and watch someone dig out all day like this. So, so, anyway, hope you guys enjoy, and I will be right back. All right, so we're back again, and uh, I uh, went ahead and put in all the work to make a, uh, make it look the way I wanted to and then I went ahead and uh, did the first part of it so kinda see what I was talking about you know you get the whole mountain of wheat uh, it'd look nicer if that was grass growing on there but uh, can't everything can't be perfect but uh, as we come up here you'll see you know each layer's got the, the couple rows uh, underneath this oh, crap I'm gonna fix that. That's something as I, I've learned since I did this first part, but that won't happen anymore. But anyway, underneath this first layer here, like I said, is water. So at the very bottom, we have the uh, the switch, and when you flip the switch, the water comes. And it's gonna push the uh, wheat all the way down to the bottom. Um, you can see some of the stuff catching over there. Once I've completed the entire project here, the water will be coming from this side too, so it'll it'll still all make it down to the center. Um, the couple that drop over here, I'm not too worried about. I can walk over them as I go to pick up my my wheat. But uh, I'll let it slowly work its way down. Not much I can do to change the speed of it. It, it is what it is. But. Um, still pretty cool so I'm waiting to see exactly the totals that I got out of this because you pretty much multiply by three because I don't need more than three maybe actually it look, does look like four because it gets higher up there so so about four times that so flip the switch water stops coming it should stop coming uh, okay started making me worry I, I, when I was doing a practice thing on my test realm, I had an issue where the uh, standing water had, or I mean the moving water had become uh, source blocks. <laughs> and that wasn't good. Whoops. I want to switch it back on again. Oh well. Anyway, then we come down here and collect it all. Uh, I don't want that. I'll fix that later. I just need to put in another block there. And maybe I was planning on putting in another half block there. Yeah. So that was almost a stack. Actually, it will be once I pick up all this stuff. Apparently, quite a bit of it ended up off to the side there. Alrighty. So, actually, almost two full stacks. So, once this is all complete, a full turning this machine on is going to give me like eight stacks of wheat and <laughs> a ton of grass seed. Um, so this is what I, I did to kind of collect it, just a quick little step in. I'd wanted to make it all go to one collecting spot, but uh, the, the length of this kind of makes that a little bit difficult because the water wants to stop right here and trying to put in the uh, half block steps to move it around, the wheat actually catches on the lip of the step, so it I can't use that trick. It's got to go down, down. So, I mean, I could make it continue to drop and I suppose have a, a walkway down here to the final collection point, which I may end up doing anyway, just so I can have one, one specific collection point. And, I don't know, maybe go too out so everything drops into it and I don't get this stuff on this lip here. But Anyway, we'll head up there and I'll show you um, what I did for the, the water there. You might have like a little mini staging area for while I'm working. Yep, and so here we are. Um, up there you can see the uh, the pistons going across. It's 25 wide. Um, 
So I got this one powering the piston. Um, then to get the power up to it, I got the uh, piston on the block here, which inverts it, and then this piston down here, which uh, inverts it again. So the whatever switch I push, it's going to end up um, putting that state into the block. And then using the uh, repeaters, you can actually power it all the way across. So uh, you end up with issues when you try to do just the redstone. Of course, that was too far to get um, without repowering it, so I had to kind of make a break off into the side here. To continue to power everything, so I brought all the stuff to do this. So we'll go ahead and get started on this, and I'll start working on the other side here. Um, again, we'll just repeat everything as we did over here. So, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and hollow it out. I won't put anything in, but I'll hollow this out. You kind of see what I'm doing here, and then we'll then we'll come back and continue on. All right. <coughs> So we got it all hollowed out. Um, before I dig this, I'm going to go ahead and go up and we'll do our sticky pistons because it'll be easier to place them with uh, with the ground underneath. So I'm not trying to aim for the side. I can just go straight down and run across it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Mostly just repeating over and over what we're doing. Once I'm finished here and I put in a couple, I'll go ahead and cut over to the next part so you know, you're not watching me just do the same thing over and over because I know that can be kind of boring. So, um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut here and let me finish this up and I'll be right back. Alright, so I realized that uh, this episode was starting to get a little bit long again and so. I'm going to have to cut it into two parts again, which uh, someday it'll be nice if I can uh, get the subscribers to get the longer episodes. Uh, right now I'm, I'm limited to 15 minutes, so but I want to just I want to show what I'm doing, not just you know a quick little. Here's what it looks like, you know. I want to actually do a little bit of instruction, not instruction, but just a little bit of you know letting you see how I do it. Uh, so no, it's not everything off camera, and you just kind of pop in just to to see what things look like. So so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this episode here. Um, once again, I, I would appreciate comments. Uh, if you like this or if you enjoyed this, you know, give me a like, subscribe, um, and I will continue to uh, uh, add more content. Uh, I have a lot of good ideas for what I want to do with this this series and some cool stuff coming up. So uh, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.